Good afternoon, Steve Free in Chicago. Uh, the USDA gave us September 1 grain stocks report today, and there was a little bit for everybody. Uh, the soybean stocks were only 92 million bushels. This was well below uh, the average trade guess. Um, the um, corn stocks were above the average guess, and so was the wheat stocks. So markets sold off, beans rallied a little bit, and now the market is back lower on the day. USDA also raised the 2013 soybean crop estimate and they raised a little bit the wheat crop estimate for 2014. So all in all, when we look at the soybean supply and demand, it shows that um, the bigger crop in 13 offsets the negative residual. We had a lower carry-in than expected, but we're still looking at some pretty big yields for the 2014 crop, which should be negative to prices. Over in the corn, the stocks number implies a little bit lower feed usage number, which implies maybe a little bit lower demand for 14 and 15. Uh, we're still hearing, still hearing big corn yields, which could add to the carry-up and also offer resistance to prices. And in the, world, in the wheat, world wheat prices are still below U.S., and that offers resistance to the wheat market. Uh, from a crop perspective in the wheat, they raise spring wheat, and they raise soft red rental wheat, and that offsets um, some lower numbers in, in some of the other classes. So. All in all, it was perceived to be kind of a neutral to bearish report. We're trading lower. Now we'll look ahead at weather, and we'll also look ahead at uh, harvest yields here in the United States and if the farmer sells the crop or not. Outside markets, we've got the dollar sharply higher because of weak European data, and we've got crude oil sharply lower, as it looks like some of the funds are throwing in the towel from long positions due to too much supply and concern about lower world demand. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.